I came here because I wanted to do something different. I wanted to go away from the usual daily life in Holland and I wanted to go somewhere where I didn't know the um, um, the culture and the language and the people and... I was living in Barcelona the last three years and I really wanted to live in a rural way and I was really attracted to Serbia and uh, about Balkan, Balkan brass band music. I thought EBS was a good opportunity to work and to know deeper Roma culture, so I found this project and I was really curious. So that's why I decided to apply. So we're close to the office now. This is one of the side streets looking very authentic Serbian. Here you can see the Norwegian People's Aid, they're the NGO next to us. So this is the main street, we spend a lot of time here. Also outside of office hours, just go down to the city. I think the Serbia was a really good choice because everything is different in a whole other way than in Holland. Dobro dan. And this is Leah working on the computer, also from Holland. Zeg maar hallo. In Nederland. And this is Tika. Ah, So we go on. Here we have the two girls. Anna and Bojana. And there's a big office. Monia is working here. We have our workshops and lessons here. And it's really nice and big space for everything. I really had a lot of expectation because I really thought it was a good opportunity to work. What I'm doing on paper is uh, working on the visual identity of this uh, NGO that I'm uh, volunteering for. So I, I'm taking, uh, making videos and taking photos of their events uh, and organizing these uh, workshops, cinema workshops to teach local kids. Uh, what I actually do all the time is I go everywhere to film anything. I go to small villages around, I go to other cities to film their events, like uh, anti-discrimination theater plays that they organize, uh, music festivals. I do a lot of interviews. I, do, I cover all of this by video when, and I upload it to their website. And I edit, I edit a lot. That's why mostly I work from home. I'm not like the other volunteers I, that they work in the office. I work from home and I'm editing all the time. My program, my project here, was to work in this organization who um, provides the city for with new um, culture, cultural, cultural events or uh, projects to bring more culture in the city. Um, so I participate in these small projects and I help a little bit with them. But my main project was a big festival, which was two weeks ago. Park Street is extremely nice, people are extremely cool and the music is really nice. My specific job during the festival is uh, hosting the Dutch bands um, who were already here and um, we help them backstage and on stage with everything they needed the whole day and it was extremely fun and I think that's really what I want to do like later also. And uh, I think this experience is interesting for all volunteers, not only the European volunteers. I think you guys, if you're considering coming to Vranje, I think it's very interesting every year when they do this, for you to be involved. It's a lot of work, you don't sleep much, you get, you'll get, be very, very tired, but uh, you'll meet some cool bands and uh, you'll have a nice time. It was really nice because all of us, all EBS, were working uh, together for the same reason. It was really good. <laughs> How I changed by this experience? Um, in the first place, it's the first time I'm living on my own for such a long time. Actually, first time at all I live on my own. So I think I got a little more mature by this, by cooking for myself or doing my own laundry or doing the dishes a lot of times. For me, it's, it's my first working experience. So I grew up a lot. I had these mini conflicts that I had to resolve 
and it was very useful. Uh, and uh, I think by dealing with all these different kinds of people, foreigners and locals, and uh, it made me grow up a lot as a person. I think I didn't change too much. Maybe more fed and maybe more conscious about um, uh, some kind of works, like working with musicians, and maybe that's uh, a good point. I don't know, I think it changed me, but I think I will notice wh uh, what changed me when I'm home. Then I think I will, uh, I will see the most change.